Hello everyone, today I'm visiting a site specializing in communication antennas for submarines. Marc Boisset, good morning. Good morning. You are the CEO of Alcimar. Can you please first tell us what is Alcimar? Alcimar is a small and medium enterprise which is so specialized in the innovative technologies uh, for uh, all the maritime uh, area and uh, we are active in, uh, for, in the uh, naval defense uh, market, uh, offshore oil and gas market and also in the oceanographic market. So welcome to you. Thank you very much. So today uh, we are here in uh, C4 near Toulon in southern France. Uh, in which activities does this specific location specializes in? So yes, this, uh, this building we are specialized here in the radio communication antenna system. So here we um, are designing uh, some uh, very specific antennas for uh, submarines. We do the design and we do also the manufacturing of these antenna and also the testing of these of, uh, uh, antenna systems. We are now in the showroom. Mark, you're showcasing two types of uh, communication systems. Can you tell us more? You, are, you have here um, so it, HF telescopic uh, whip antenna, which has been specifically designed for the submarines in order to communicate in the HF uh, bandwidth. Uh, but that's not the only one antenna we are doing also for the submarines. We have developed a multifunction antenna system. Uh, this antenna, this multifunction antenna, already includes this HF. Uh, frequency range, but also the VHF, the UHF, the IFF, and the SATCOM uh, telecommunication uh, band, or frequency band also. How uh, challenging is it to uh, integrate so many different frequencies in a, in a single mast? Yes, that's a very good question because it's very, very challenging uh, indeed. Because if you uh, imagine a surface vessel, you can easily uh, see uh, how many antennas uh, there are on this surface vessel, on the deck, uh, but also distributed on the mast. Uh, and uh, for a submarine, it's impossible to do the same. So we have to concentrate all these antenna in the single and unique uh, multifunction mast antenna. If there is so many antennas on a surface vessel, there is a reason. It's not a random uh, distribution. It's because uh, to avoid a perturbation between all the antennas. And uh, now in, on the submarines, in the single mast, we have to uh, get all the, all the simultaneities between uh, all the frequencies. So even if we make a transmission in the HF uh, frequency range, we have also to receive VHF, UHF, etc. And so that simultaneity of all antennas concentrated in a single mast, that makes the subject very complex. And so we are very few in the world to get this technology, uh, this know-how. Do you make, do you design antennas exclusively for French submarines or for export as well? So for export as well, uh, obviously French submarines are our main customer, but uh, we export also, so uh, for example we have our antennas uh, and the uh, Indian uh, scorpions, uh, also on the Brazilian program, uh, also on the Malaysian uh, submarines, scorpions, and very recently on the Jumbo Go Free program uh, in South Korea. With, uh, with this type of uh, product? Absolutely, with this type of product. Mm. Uh, you're showcasing some kind of uh, buoys. Uh, what is the goal of these uh, systems? So this is a very innovative system here. Uh, as you know, when the submarine is under the water, there is no more ready communication able to go through the surface of the water. Uh, so if a submarine wants to communicate with above the surface, you have to uh, come back again to the surface or to the periscopic uh, level and uh, it will not be uh, discreet anymore. So the goal of this uh, expandable voice is to allow a submarine to communicate even if it is at depth and at speed. So uh, it's a very innovative product. Uh, that enhance the radio communication capacity, capabilities of the submarines. How does it work? Uh, you have uh, so a buoy which is going to be launched from uh, the submarine. This buoy will be connected with the submarine thanks to a fiber optic which is going to uh, unwheel 
uh, all around uh, the trip between the submarine and the surface. And when the submarine will be at the, the, the buoy will be at the surface, it will communicate with uh, above the surface, surface vessel, planes, etc. And uh, uh, all the frequency spectrum will be absorbed by the buoy and transferred inside the submarine. And we can also transmit from the submarine to the outside. Well, and we see some of the. Uh elements of the buoy uh, in this transparent uh, display model and that's where the fiber optic is? Absolutely, you have two models here. This one is a 3 inches model with a 3000 meter uh, fiber optic length inside of it which allow a time of communication of about oh, uh, half an hour. And in the, this uh, 4 inches uh, model you have uh, a bit more than 7000 meters of fiber optic and this uh, allow for about one hour of communication. So uh, that's uh, really a good innovation. Mark, uh, thank you for all these uh, explanations. Uh, I believe you have a workshop uh, here on site. Uh, can we take a look? Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. We are now in the workshop where the final assembly line for the communication antennas is located. Mark, can you tell us about uh, the various systems on display here? Yes, first of all, there is here uh, what we name a GDIT antenna for uh, tactical communications. So this antenna is dedicated to be mounted around a mast and surface vessels. And uh, here we have um, an antenna tuning unit, which is uh, the device between uh, the transmit HF transmitters and uh, the HF antenna. Uh, so this uh, one is a 400 watt uh, of uh, power. And behind us uh, you have some other antennas for surface vessel. This one is a HF receiver's a receiver uh, antenna, an active antenna. Uh, so the little size of the antenna is compensated by the electronic which is have been put inside the, the antenna with uh, very, very good performances, perhaps one of the very best in the world. And uh, here it's a UHF antenna, uh, just uh, in the process of the manufacturing, as you can see there, uh, which will be dedicated to be mounted also around the mast, uh, so for, uh, for the French Frigate uh, and also for uh, other export programs. There's a third type of uh, communication antenna for submarines that you have not mentioned yet. It is uh, this one. Yes, this one is a buoyant wire antenna. This is also dedicated for submarine. As you can see there, this is a very long cable, several hundred meters long, uh, divided in three parts. There is a radiating element, which is uh, just uh, at the surface of the, of the sea. And after this radiating element, you have a preamplifier, which is very this, this part. And in this particular uh, antenna, this is a removable preamplifier, online preamplifier, which makes the maintenance of this antenna very easy and which is not unique but very rare for this kind of product. And what is particular also, specific to this antenna, that's the type of material you, we use here. It's not polyethylene as it is used uh, very, very often, but it's polyurethane a material which is uh, much more resistant and to the wear. Is Alcimar uh, working on future projects? Do you keep your R&D offices uh, going uh, to try to improve the, the performances of your antennas for future programs? Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, that's something in, in our in DNA uh, and the innovation and particularly for the radio communication antenna system. We are still improving and trying to, uh, to, in, to invent new wave uh, of uh, communication uh, with uh, always smaller and smaller devices but with much much more performance than we get before. Hmm. Very well Mark, thank you very much and uh, many thanks for your warm welcome here uh, on your facility. You're welcome, thank you very much.